ಸೌಮ್ಯ ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮೈಸೂರು ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಸೊ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ದ ಪೇಪರ್ ಎಗೈನ್ ಆನ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋರೈಸೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋ ಪ್ರೊಪಗೇಟೆಡ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಫಿಕೆಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಎಮ್ ಫಂಗೈ ಫಾರ್ ಇಂಪ್ರೂವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋ ಪ್ರೊಪಗೇಟೆಡ್ ಬನಾನಾ ಮ್ಯೂಸ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಡಿಸಿಯಾಕ ಕಲ್ಟಿವರ್ ವೆರೈಟಿ ಡ್ವಾಫ್ ಕ್ಯಾಮೆಂಡಿಶ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೂ ಎವರ್ ಸ್ಪೋಕ್ ಟಿಲ್ ನೌ ವರ್ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನಲ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಎ ಹಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಚರಲಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಬನಾನಾ ಆಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಮೆಂಟರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ವಿಸಿಕ್ಲಾರ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋರೈಸಲ್ ಫಂಗೈ ಈಸ್ ಅ ವೈಡ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಂಬಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ಚಕ್ಕರ್ಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಔಟ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡಿಂಗ್ uh a effective tool for the better establishment of micropropagated plants it is also well documented in most of the horticultural crops like strawberry grape wine lemon citrus etc uh this banana plant is one of the most important uh, fruit crop which is used as a complementary or staple food throughout the world it grows in tropics and subtropics regions of the world and the propagation is through vegetative method that is through suckers but the vegetative propagation method is very slow it gives only 5 to 20 plants per sucker per year because of that the micro propagation technique is providing a better tool to improve the number of plants through the micro propagation technique but sometimes this micro propagation techniques often leads to absence of microflora the transfer of these micro propagated plantlets from in vitro condition to in vivo condition leads to this microflora absence in this situation the mycorrhization may help the micro propagated plants to establish better and well establishment in the field condition the objective of my work is to work and discuss the efficacy of am fungi for the establishment in the field condition from the pot condition to till the yield condition materials as i already mentioned i have taken musa paradisiaca as a plant material variety dwarf cavendish dwarf cavendish is a well known clone which is growing throughout the world i have selected as uh, amf inaculum two species of uh, glomus nothing but mosse and fasciculatum and i have added one more microorganism which is nothing but phosphate solubilizing microorganism so phosphate solubilizing microorganisms are very useful which are present in the soil they solubilizes insoluble phosphate forms into soluble forms and provides to the plant the combination of this mycorrhiza and phosphate solubilizing microorganisms may give more benefit for the establishment of these micro propagated plants so i have selected this phosphate solubilizing microorganisms these are the plants which i have selected two sets of plants i have taken one set is sucker raised normal plants which are raised through suckers which are procured from the field near bangalore and i have selected micro propagated plants so micro propagated plants of uniform sized were procured from indomican hybrid seeds bangalore phosphate solubilizing microorganism was procured from indian institute of horticultural research hesarigatta bangalore i inoculated both this glomus species and phosphate solubilizing microorganism to both of the saccharized normal plants and micro propagated plants the experiment was conducted in two sets the as a preliminary experimental setup i selected pot experiment and i conducted the experiment in polythene bags and then they were shifted to field at, as a main experiment the field experiment was conducted in a field the land was prepared by plowing thoroughly and the soil in the field was brought to till the size of the pits were 75 cm 75 cm into 60 cm which was filled with form yard manure plus sand plus soil in 1 is to 1 is to 1 ratio i have added both am inoculum and ps inoculum am inoculum 50 grams per pit and ps m inoculum 
around 1000 ml per pit. As to uh, study the growth parameter and nutritional status, I have selected the following are the, uh, the parameters which are shown on the slide. Root length and shoot length of plants, fresh weights and dry weights of the plants were assessed in part condition. Because after growing in the field, we can't estimate the root length and shoot length by again destroying the whole plant. Uh, and then the nutritional status or physiological status of the plants were estimated in terms of chlorophyll content, carbohydrates and reducing sugars content, total proteins contents and total phenolics content. The methodologies used for the study are as shown here which was already explained by our madam and also Jayashree was already explained the whole methodology of mycorrhizal percentage calculation, mycorrhizal spore count calculation. But I have one more parameter additionally I have taken which is nothing but alkaline and acid phosphatase activity which was analyzed by PNP method. And the mineral nutrients were taken nothing but again phosphorus as a main because it is mycorrhiza increases notably phosphorus. Uh, banana plants they need NPK as a main three macronutrients. Addition to that, I have also assessed sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, copper and zinc also I have assessed. The, finally, all these parameters are assessed to see the total yield of the plant through the mycorrhization. The percentage of root colonization, number of vesicles and arbuscles in the roots and spore count in the soil, we were assessed. Uh, one more point I forgot to tell you. I have uh, taken two different sets of experiments. One set is with phosphate fertilizer and the other set is without phosphatic fertilizers. This is with P fertilizer. I have noticed more number of spore count and also highest number of percentages of colonization in micropropagated mycorrhizal plants. So this is the difference between the percentage of colonization compared to normal with the micropropagated plants. That is without, without P fertilizer, this is with P fertilizer. So compared to without phosphatic fertilizer, P fertilizer level showed more mycorrhization with more percentage of colonization. This is a photograph which is showing vesicles and arbuscles with the mycelia. So mycelia along with vesicles and arbuscles, it helps to take the mineral nutrients from the soil because mycorrhization increases the total volume of the soil in terms of nutrients. The total carbohydrates and reducing sugars content were assessed. The total carbohydrate sugar and reducing sugars showed a little variation between the mycorrhizal, micropropagated plants and normally uh, without mycorrhiza. If there is a chance of drainage of carbohydrates and reducing sugars from the plants to the fungus because there is an exchange of information energy takes place between the rhizos, uh, uh, mycorrhiza and plants. That's why there is a decrease in the reducing sugars in mycorrhizal plants compared to uninoculated control plants. So this is the phosphorus, nitrogen and potassium sodium content. So we can make out increased level of uh, uh, micronutrients also in this uh, graph. I have also assessed the copper and zinc content. Again, they, these are the micronutrients, but in spite of uh, micronutrients, they are also very essential for the plants like banana. I have assessed acid phosphatase and alkaline phosphatase activity in the roots of both normal and micropropagated plants, both at P and P0 level. So, here, we noticed increased level of acid phosphatase and alkaline phosphatase activity. I have given two contents. I assessed 
phosphatase activity in both surface of the roots and also root extracts both in surface of the roots and root extracts i could make out increased level of acid phosphatase and alkaline phosphatase activity as are given in different colors so this is the uh, glomus fasciculatum plus trichoderma viride treated micropropagated plants here a graph which is showing the acid phosphatase and alkaline phosphatase activity with p fertilizer level here the final result is nothing but the total plant growth and final yield of the plant the final yield of the plant increased it was assessed in terms of plant height girth of the plant number of hands per bunch number of fingers per hand and bunch weight we got the highest weight of bunch weight fifty two point five two kgs of bunch weight was recorded in plumus fasciculatum plus trichoderma viride treated plants these are the photographs which are showing the plants which are growing in the field this plate is depicting the pictures of micropropagated and sorry normal plants without phosphorus fertilizers these are the normal plants in the field with p fertilizer this plate is micropropagated plants in the field without p fertilizer this is with a with the p fertilizer that is without p fertilizer so this is the photograph which is showing the total yield in terms of bunch weight i have given and i have compared both normal and micro propagated plants together at p not level these are the normal plants uninoculated control compared to uninoculated control normal plants micro propagated plants are growing well but compared to treated plants also the mycorrhizal micro propagated plants gave better yield it's a plate where which is showing the yield of normal and micro propagated plants with p fertilizer as i have already mentioned 52.52 kg of bunch weight was observed with a elongated bunch with more number of hands per bunch so this is the total output which we were expected through the mycorrhization these are the key findings which were observed the better establishment through mycorrhization mycorrhization increased plant growth in terms of root and shoot length girth of the plant it totally improved the physiological status it also improved the mineral nutrition increased the enzyme activity finally the results were correlated with the total yield of the mycorrhizal micro propagated plants in conclusion the two aim of species glomus fasciculatum and glomus mossae colonized well in micro propagated plants initially in pots and they continued to show well establishment in the field condition the early mycorrhization was observed in micro propagated plants this is maybe because of compatible specificity with glomus species this indicates the dependency of mycorrhiza in micro propagated plants during the early stages of development that is nothing but acclimatization period by utilizing amf we can improve the cultivation practices of horticultural plants propagated in vitro not only banana we can implement this micro propagation technique along with mycorrhization for all the horticultural crops which were obtained through micro propagated plants i thank you one and all for the patience hearing and i also thank for my guide professor tejawati and also for the organizers for giving me this opportunity to present my paper thank you once again